Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Saturday morning. Thought I'd show you one of my um, movie car builds I've done a uh, couple of years ago. This is the uh, Dodge Charger from the movie Dirty Mary Crazy Larry. If you're familiar with that movie. Uh, kind of an iconic movie car. Gets destroyed at the end of the movie. But uh, if you haven't seen it, I think if you're a car guy, it's a must-see. One of those movies that you definitely have to watch, like a uh, Vanishing Point, California Kid, Corvette Summer, and uh, so on and so on. This kit here actually um, used a couple of different model kits to uh, build this one. Uh, bodies from one kit, chassis from another, and uh, the uh, paint is the uh, fun part about building a replica. Now, this particular paint job in the uh, camera here probably looks more of a yellow, but it's actually a couple of drops off if you move the camera around at different angles, different lighting. It has more of a key lime green to it. In some angles it looks yellow, uh, which the real car looked the same. Uh, anytime you saw a picture of this car, in some pictures it looked yellow, other pictures it looked green, uh, or a key lime green. And I actually located the, uh, the colors that you mix together to get this particular formula. And uh, I mixed them together. And it took a couple of different times because one would turn out to be more green and less yellow. And the other would turn out to be more yellow than less green. So a couple of drops here or there and you'll get spot on. But anyways, the, uh, the car is pretty much the way it would have been in the movie. Uh, maybe not exactly accurate because uh, trying to locate the proper wheels, tire size, and so forth and so on uh, can get complicated. But anyways, this is just, uh, like I said, it's just a replica of the uh, movie car. I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, it's, uh, when I look at it, that's exactly what I see is the, uh, is the movie car. Get this hood off and show you. Uh, the details under the hood. I don't know if any of you guys have actually built this, uh, a replica of this movie car, but I had fun doing it. I, uh, I enjoy building the movie replicas. Um, I've got a couple of others that I've built and I'll, I'll be showing you those, uh, later. But yeah, this one was a fun one. Um, the wheels are, uh, the steering is posable. Um, didn't really add a lot a lot of features to the car I mean yeah it's sorry about that I have to keep the uh, light off because it makes the cars look so bright I'm gonna have to change the lighting in my new little area here but you can kind of see as I move the camera it changes colors yellow to a green lime or a key lime but anyways that's that's that car next thing i wanted to show you is uh i did get a couple of uh shop cards in and uh here they are first one we got a uh, the garage with zippy man that is a good looking truck right there as soon as i saw this picture i said i, I definitely want to build one of those awesome job bud awesome job if you guys don't know his channel uh, aren't subscribed to his channel go give him a go give him a look and uh hey man subscribe that's a good thing about youtube you can have as many channels on your youtube as you want follow whomever you want thanks for the card bud next one we've got frank's frizzo's model cars Another good channel to watch. Uh, these guys 
all three of these guys I'm about to show you, um, they have some really good channels. I mean, the cool thing is everybody has their own unique style of what they do, what they build, and how they build. That's that's the part I like the most. I mean, you can learn from anybody. Uh, thank you for the card, buddy. I appreciate it. And the last one so far. Here we go. Henry Robbs. Mid-Century Model Works. Another great channel. If you guys aren't familiar with any of these guys, please go give them a like, a subscribe to their channel. Follow along. I mean, there's... There's so many great model builders out there. Just some awesome channels to watch. It's hard to keep up with everybody. Um, but everybody has a favorite. But maybe one of these three guys, if you're not already subscribed to them, will be your next favorite. So please go, go check out their channels. Give them a like. Subscribe to them. Let them know I sent you. And uh, the last thing, on the bench, decided to build one of these um, 72 Chevrolet ramp trucks. I uh, got rid of the tandem axle, filled it in with some styrene plastic, added the lip back on it. Um, since I got into building a couple of these uh, altered wheelbase or straight axle front end gasser type drag cars I thought I needed a shop truck or at least a hauler and uh, this is all I had in the uh, on the shelf here to build so thought I would pull this one out um, looks to be a fairly simple kit I didn't care for the tandem axle uh, I've seen several of these that were built just I don't know that tandem axle and believe it or not I, I don't have a problem with tandem axles but it just don't look right on this truck it needs to be a single dually setup so I want to put a set of uh, dually tires and wheels under here I contacted Jimmy Flintstone from Flintstone Studios As you guys know I I deal with him a lot he's a great guy to uh, to know has a lot of great kits on his site or bodies and, and parts and pieces so forth and so on but contacted him this morning and let him know what I was working on and he said he would look see what he had about the wheels and tires so uh, anyways wanted to show you guys what I'm planning on starting next uh, and of course let you see these guys and let those guys know that I got their cards in and I definitely appreciate it they'll be on the wall with the rest of the uh, the crew and uh, like I said, I wanted to show you guys one of my other kits that I built. All right. Well, guys, you guys be safe. Have a great weekend. Happy Easter. God bless every one of you. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Till we get a chance to uh, film another video. Guys, please stay safe. Have a great weekend. See ya.